All right, guys, we're in the six day countdown to Earth Day. And this Earth Day is really special. It's actually the 50th anniversary of celebrating Earth Day. So I wanted to do something cool for the six day countdown. The past couple months, I've been really, really passionate about going zero waste. So what this means is that you eliminate single use items from your life and from your home and from your habits. So it's a slow transition um, in order to be more sustainable in the long term. And there have been so many ways that I've integrated new and more high vibrational items into my life and household and I think it's worth sharing. So I'm going to be doing a six part series. The first five videos are going to be on the main five rooms of a home being bathroom, bedroom, kitchen, office, and laundry room. And then I'm going to do a sixth bonus video on lifestyle swaps. So I've been majorly inspired by Katherine Kellogg. Be sure to check out her Instagram. It's at going zero waste, as well as my sister who's been making her own skincare and sustainable lifestyle swaps for the past couple of years. So this is really exciting for me and it's a huge um, part of my journey right now and I really wanna talk about it. So I have some notes cause we're gonna go through a lot of content today. So. Stick with me, it'll be worth it, I promise. The first thing that I wanna talk about is that right now, amidst the coronavirus, a lot of these practices are sort of being thrown out the window. For example, grocery stores, shopping at the bulk bins, that's not a sanitary thing to do right now. Or taking your own cup into a coffee shop, not a sanitary thing to do right now. So I know that these zero waste swaps, some of them are not feasible right now, but when life resumes and the world is back in order, these are really great habits to consider. So here we go. Part one, that's today's video. I'm gonna be talking about bathroom swaps. The first thing that comes to mind when you think about bathroom practices is brushing your teeth. So toothbrushes and toothpaste is a big opportunity for zero waste and switching to a more low impact, environmentally friendly option habits. Toothpaste. So toothpaste is the tubes are not truly recyclable. In order for something to be recyclable, it has to be thoroughly cleaned out and dried out before recycled. So if you just throw something into your recycle bin without washing and drying it, it can actually contaminate the entire bin and will therefore just go to the landfill when it gets to the recycling sorting center anyways. So, um, Opting for something like, this is the brand I use. This is Hello Brand. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and it's a glass container, so it's fully recyclable. This is a charcoal-based toothpaste, so good for whitening. Um, something like that versus a tube of toothpaste that will sit in a landfill for hundreds of years. Another thing that will sit in a landfill for hundreds of years is your toothbrush. So think about all of the toothbrushes that you've used your entire life and opting for something that is bamboo versus plastic is a really simple, effortless swap that we can all commit to. Bamboo toothbrushes are decomposable, compostable, recyclable. Um, so that's, that's a super effortless swap if you ask me. Um, the next thing I think about is Q-tips. So if you're anything like me, you use two Q-tips a day. That adds up to so many Q-tips in a landfill. Obviously, you cannot recycle Q-tips. Some Q-tips are made from organic cotton and plastic and are said to be compostable, but you don't really want your wax mixing with compostable fruits and vegetables even to go into the soil. So um, you have to really think about that one. But yeah, yeah, brands, okay, so brands like The Last Swab are silicone-based Q-tips. So they are reusable, they are sanitary. You 
won't be throwing anything in the trash every day. And so for me, it maybe this swap is a little more intense than the toothbrush plastic for bamboo swap, but once you get used to it, I think that's a great swap as well, just to eliminate all the trash that you're actually sending to the landfill every day, every week, every month. The next, and especially during what we're going through right now, toilet paper. So toilet paper obviously is in such high demand right now and is being mass produced, therefore mass polluting the planet right now as well. But not only right now during this virus, but just in general, we send so much toilet paper to waste and, and it's polluting the earth and the oceans. So a great swap for toilet paper are bidet attachments. So the one that I love is called Tushy and you literally just attach it to your toilet. You don't need to buy a brand new bidet Japanese toilet. It's just an attachment and that is a really great way to start cutting down or eliminating your toilet paper usage altogether. And if that's not something that you're excited and willing to try, I would recommend a tree-free toilet paper or a recyclable toilet paper. There's a really great brand out there called Who Gives a Crap? So that would be a good one to try. The next thing I wanna talk about are razors. So most people use disposable razors. This is plastic and metal that sits in landfill for hundreds of years. It does not decompose. So using something like a safety razor, which is this one here, something like this, uh, a really great brand is Eco Roots for a great safety razor. What's nice about this is if you take care of it and make sure that you're drying it off after your shower so that it doesn't rust, um, this will last your whole life. So what you do is just replace the actual blades and when you're done with the blades, you can send them to a scrap metal recycling center to be melted down and reused. So it's totally zero footprint recyclable. So that is a great simple swap for changing your razor. The next thing I wanna talk about is shampoo, conditioner, soap, face wash. So think about all the containers that these products come in. So shampoo, conditioner, bottle, bottle, body wash, bottle, face wash, bottle. Swapping to something like a shampoo bar, this is actually my conditioner bar, but something like a bar, a bar hand soap, bar body soap, and bar shampoo and conditioner, is a super simple, I would say it, it does get, you have to get used to it, um, but I feel much better about my environmental footprint when using my bar shampoo. If that's like not gonna fly with you, then what I would recommend, this is another option that I have, these bottles from Anthropology. actually, I have a shampoo bottle, I have a conditioner bottle, and I have a body soap bottle. These are reusable containers. Um, I've had them for over a year now for sure. And you can take these into your local refill store. So you can Google zero waste store near me or refill store near me. The one that I like to use is Sustain LA. That's a really fun, great shop in uh, the LA area where you can take your bottles in and they have the big containers of shampoo, conditioner, soap, everything that you might need, and you can refill your bottles if you don't want to swap to shampoo bars. So these have just been a couple things that I wanted to talk about. Swaps for the bathroom. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna be talking about kitchen. So let me know if you guys have any questions and I'm of course gonna tag all these brands in my caption and I'm super excited to hear your success stories. So thanks for watching.